One of the tweets that uh, Elon Musk put out was that civil war was inevitable. Um, everyone is shocked by the scenes that we've seen. For more than a week, riots breaking out in city after city. Cars torched in northeast England. Fires raging in Belfast in Northern Ireland. This hotel, used to house asylum seekers, set ablaze. Well, next to the United Kingdom, where far-right rhetoric has fueled the flame of racial hatred, triggering riots across the country. Mosques have been attacked, hotels, housing asylum seekers damaged and broken into, and police have been targeted with petrol bombs. The source of it all is a tragic stabbing that saw three young girls killed last month. As the community was still grieving, misinformation began to spread on social media, claiming that the suspect was a Muslim refugee. The suspect currently is in custody, was born in Wales to Rwandan parents. Muslim people, we're not terrorists. That's how I feel like. I feel like we're being threatened, Um, it's not safe. Amid the chaos, counter-protesters pushing back. Refugees are welcome here! Why is this happening? The immediate trigger, the murder last week of three young girls in a horrific stabbing spree. In the hours after, far-right provocateurs posted disinformation on social media, claiming the suspect was an immigrant in the UK illegally. It went viral, but it wasn't true. Authorities say the suspect is a 17-year-old born in the UK. Social media clearly put rocket boosters under some of the organization, the inflaming of tensions, and also the misinformation. But actually, like you said, there is a second story to this, which is this didn't happen in isolation. How did community relations break down to such an extent that we saw this effectively unrelated from what we know so far issue? And it's because of the the decades-long protests by people in this country that are saying, listen, mass immigration is a massive issue. The lack of integration is a massive issue. Multiculturalism has failed. You cannot have people coming into this country without integrating. You cannot have people living parallel lives and and effectively being being allowed to do so by the liberal elite that have run this country since 1997, basically. The street battle seen here in Plymouth yesterday could be replicated in other towns and cities tomorrow night. Police are aware of 30 planned gatherings and are braced for a big day of disorder. Two opposing protests in Plymouth started out peacefully before vocal clashes between the anti-racism and anti-immigration groups. South Yorkshire police say this is the worst disorder they've ever dealt with. Sunday's attack on a hotel housing asylum seekers in Rotherham has been described as an act of terrorism by the police's former head of counter-terrorism. In Birmingham on Monday, Muslims did take matters into their own hands. Some carried weapons amid rumours the far right were coming. The police now under pressure to explain why they didn't do anything to stop people who were clearly armed. As the latest disorder unfolded, the Prime Minister criticised the owner of X, Elon Musk, who posted that civil war is inevitable in the UK. The, the sort of war of words that's really emerged between the Prime Minister and the CEO of X, Elon Musk, one of the richest men uh, in the world. And Elon Musk highlighted a post by the far-right activist Stephen Yaxley Lennon, also known as Tommy Robinson, uh, to his 193 million followers. And then separately, in response to another post about the riots. Uh, Elon Musk posted, civil war is inevitable in the UK. And the Prime Minister spokesperson we heard from yesterday uh, criticising that comment, saying there is no justification for comments like that. But then Elon Musk followed it up, directly criticising the Prime Minister, who said last night that he would not tolerate attacks on Muslim communities. And in response to that, Elon Musk posted, shouldn't you be concerned about attacks on all communities? It was kind of terrifying. Hundreds of people moved up the Ho Park onto the uh, kind of the promenade and the um, memorial area. Ten minutes after that, there was a strong police presence kind of dissipating them after they'd set fires and things. And then there was a huge group of writers outside our front door kind of smashing things. And so while this 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 act of 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 of, of vandalism and these these riots by these thugs, as as you rightly said, is horrible. It didn't happen in a vacuum. And now we have this uncomfortable conversation that we have to have, which is what has happened to this country? What has happened to community relations? How has multiculturalism failed? And how can we bring this country back together? Because I fear that if something doesn't happen, this will only be the beginning. Brilliantly summed up, Esther. Um, I must say, you mentioned the uh, Rotherham grooming gangs.